With advances in submarine technology, the ocean has become the most convenient medium for moving strategic military forces and launching strategic strikes. And as the new Cold War begins, the Virginia-class nuclear submarine is an appropriate response to Russia's growing naval power. These fourth-generation submarines are the American Navy's latest undersea warfare platform, which incorporates the latest in stealth intelligence gathering and weapons systems technology. This is Military Mechanics, and today we will look at Virginia-class submarines. Virginia-class submarines are tasked with conducting independent operations against enemy submarines and surface ships, strikes against ground targets using sea-based cruise missiles, providing anti-submarine defense for warships and convoys, and conducting covert special operations, including in shallow water areas. The lead Virginia SSN-774 entered service in 2004. The crew of this boat consists of 15 officers and 120 enlisted. Her hull is 377 feet long, 34 feet wide, and has a displacement of 7,300 tons dived. For ease of installation, repair, and upgrade of the submarine's systems, the hull structure contains structurally integrated enclosures that accommodate standard 19-inch and 24-inch width equipment. She is outfitted with modular isolated deck structures such as the command center, which is installed on a single unit resting on cushioned mounting points. Virginia-class subs are the first class where all masts share common design. This is called the Universal Modular Mast, which is an integrated system for housing, erecting and supporting submarine mast-mounted antennas and sensors. The Virginia-class is equipped with high-resolution cameras, along with light intensification and infrared sensors, an infrared laser rangefinder, and an integrated electronic support measures array. This class is also the first class of submarines to utilize photonic sensors instead of a traditional periscope. In submarine warfare, the word stealth has a different depth. Virginia incorporates newly designed anechoic coatings, isolated deck structures, and a new propulsor design to achieve a low acoustic signature. Instead of traditional bladed propellers, the Virginia class uses pump jet propulsors, which reduces cavitation risks and allows for quieter operation. The main propulsion units are the GE Pressure Water Reactor S9G designed to last as long as the submarine two turbine engines with one shaft and a United Defense jump jet propulsor providing 29.84 megawatts. The speed is over 25 knots dived. Yes, Virginia is silent until she attacks. The Virginia-class submarine is heavily armed with 12 vertical launching systems and four torpedo tubes, capable of launching Mark 48 torpedoes, UGM-109 tactical tomahawks, and harpoon missiles. Block 5 of this class will have the additional VPM module, which contains four large-diameter tubes, which can accommodate seven tomahawk cruise missiles each. This would increase the total number of torpedo-sized weapons, such as tomahawks, carried by the Virginia-class design from about 37 to about 65, an increase of about 76%. With her integral lockout lock-in chamber, the Virginia-class can host a mini-submarine such as Northrop Grumman's Oceanic and Naval Systems Advanced Seal Delivery System to deliver Navy SEAL teams. The first four boats, defined as Block 1, were built in ten modules with each submarine. Six Block 2 Virginia-class submarines were made in four modules rather than ten modules to reduce costs. The Block 3 submarines have two multi-purpose Virginia payload tubes, which replaced the dozen single-purpose cruise missile launch tubes of Block 1 and Block 2s. 
The other difference of the Block 3 is their horseshoe-shaped large aperture bow sonar array, which replaced their air-backed spherical main sonar array used on all US Navy submarines since 1960. The large aperture bow sonar array, consisting of a passive array and a medium frequency active array, is water-backed. The Block 4 submarines incorporate design changes aimed at extending the component level life cycle of the submarine, allowing the US Navy to increase the frequency of depot maintenance availability and the number of deployments. The Navy sees acoustic superiority upgrades as critical to maintaining design superiority over Russian and Chinese submarines, so all 10 planned Block 5 submarines will be outfitted with them. The Block 5 submarines will be larger than previous versions, with a length increase from 377 to 460 feet, and a displacement increase from 7,800 to 10,200 tons, making them the second largest US submarines produced behind Ohio class. This additional 83-foot section will increase the number of missile launch tubes from 12 to 40. The extended mid-body section of the Virginia Payload Module, or VPM, can be used to store and fire additional Tomahawk cruise missiles and other payloads, such as large-diameter unmanned underwater vehicles. The VPM will also increase the number of torpedo-sized weapons carried by each submarine from approximately 37 to approximately 65. Virginia-class submarines are expected to remain in service until at least 2060, with later versions expected to remain into the 2070s.